name is Derek Ansley. I um, played high school football at Tallahassee High School, born and raised in Tallahassee, Alabama. I went to Troy, um, in Troy, Alabama, played football there, played defensive back there. I um, kind of fell into coaching. Um, one Saturday morning, I was kind of in between, you know, pro days and, and draft and, and things of that nature. Had a couple personal workouts after football and um, ended up then making it um, to the next level. So I was kind of stuck in limbo. Was I going to get into journalism or was I going to get into, you know, the coaching profession? And kind of got a call from a guy that coached me in college. You know, he was a head coach at a smaller school in Alabama. And he asked me was I interested in getting into coaching. And I had no idea that I did until I went up and met with him and interviewed. And, you know, the rest is history. I fell right into it. It was a good way to stay around the game. You know, when I was in college, I was coming up through, you know, broadcasting and, and wanted to you know, get into the production side of it, you know, or either broadcasting or anchoring. So I wanted to stay in the game, you know, some kind of, you know, avenue. And then I got into coaching, and that, that felt like the, the best thing for me to do at that time. And got into it and, and loved it and made a career out of it so far. I've been around some, some good defensive backs in my short time. Um, Dre Kirkpatrick being one, uh, he was a really good player for us um, down there and um, he ended up playing you know, for the, the Bengals right now. So, um, you know, got a chance to be around a lot of good guys. Mark Barron being another one, he's playing for the Bucks. Um, Daquan Menzi, uh, he's playing for the Chiefs right now, um, defensive back. Um, and, and another guy that I coached for two years down there, um, D. Milner. Um, D. Milner's about to be drafted pretty high. Um, have a chance to work with him for two years. So, been blessed to be around a lot of good players. One, first you got to be able to, you know, play man to man, you know, on tape. I think things you got to look for is, is loose hips, you know, can guys change direction, um, can guys use their hand, hands at the line of scrimmage, or guys willing to come up and stick their face in there and tackle, um, you know, can they tackle one on one in space, you know, can they drop their weight, you know, change direction, good lateral um, agility, then can they play the ball in the deep part of the field, you know, when, it, when you throw that nine ball out there on you, you know, how do you react, you know, do you panic? Or do you go up and make a play with it and judge the ball and either knock it down or make an interception? So, you know, those are the three criteria that we really look for, you know, being able to play man to man, you know, being a good open field tackler and being able to play the ball in the deep part of the field. Well, I'm looking for a, a good person first. You know, I'm looking for a guy that's not just caught up in, a, you know, being a football player. I'm looking for a guy that wants to be a student athlete, wants to be well rounded. I'm looking for a guy that if we bring him into our room, our close group, I'm looking for a guy that can, that can fit in, you know, and get along with everybody in our room. So it's not all about the talent. You know, sure, you got to have talent in this league, but I'm looking for a good person first. With facilities, with good coaches, you know, everybody does a good job of promoting their brand. So it, 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 with that being said, that's going to make the SEC that much more competitive. If every school wants to win every week, then everybody's got to bring their A game. It's a competitive league, and for any, any recruit that wants to play with the best and play against the best, the SEC is the best conference to do that. It's like, you know, when you pull into a stadium, it's like rock stars getting off a bus. So, you know, it's very, very unique, you know, to play in an SEC, you know, environment. Uh, from the from the tailgating to the the, lead, the week leading up to the game, you know, into after the game. Fans stick around to make sure they talk to their, their players. They want to get autographs. So it's, it's very passionate fans in our league, and that makes the league that much better.